Old man Woody likes the crooked cock. Was McDonald's significantly better than the carpet cleaning, or was it just shitty in a different way? Carpet. So I have this like joke where um, I like uh, the trajectory of my respect for humans has continued to drop every single new experience in my life. Uh, McDonald's and then working the job at the casino at the casino. I was like a manager for or supervisor for like a restaurant. So I did back of house and front of house work. Um, the, the thing that hurt me the most about customer service is dealing with people. I fucking hate people. Holy shit. Um, adults that act like entitled children. Like I met so many people that were 30, 40 years old that I would be embarrassed to be around at, at like 18, 19. I like mm-hmm. legitimately the, the way that people act, the entitlement is so fucking insane in some of these places. I couldn't believe it. Holy fuck. Yeah. So like was the work, the work I, I or go yeah, ahead. Sorry. I was going to say the work was like challenging in a different way. Like the carpet cleaning sucked because it was a lot of work and a lot of hours and not very much pay. But customer service sucks because you have to deal with people. And it only takes like two bad customers to ruin like multiple fucking days of your life. It's so miserable. And you don't get paid enough. Like the, the nine, well, back when in my day, I think it was like 525 an hour is what I made at McDonald's because I don't think the national minimum wage would come up yet. Um, oh, God, to deal with some of the people that would insult you and berate you and shit. Ugh. Especially you got to be demeaning at McDonald's. Where it's like, where did you think you pulled up to? Like, this is McDonald's. You yeah. say a number, and I grab the already cooked food and hand it into your, you know, fat gullet. Like, Some of the fu- we had this lady that would come in, dude. I oh man, I don't want to do this too much because I could tell stories for hours. We had a lady to come into McDonald's, and she came in one time, and she asked for two burritos or whatever. And on one of them, she just had this bizarre request, like the eggs were not cooked or were too cooked enough. And at McDonald's, you don't like hand cook anything; everything is done on timers. So whatever it is is what it is. It's never going to change ever from one to another. Um, now food can get cold if it's held for too long or something like that. But for the most part, like you're getting a pretty consistent experience because the guidelines are all corporate given, even if you're at a franchise. Um, this lady was not happy with that answer, and so she went to the restaurant to eat her shit or whatever. I had to go bus tables an hour later, and I go to the to the restaurant, and this fucking bitch had opened her omelet or whatever, and she like painted the whole fucking table with like parts of the fucking omelet, and I'm like. You're like <laughs> 70 fucking years old. Like, I wish I had access to the cameras because I want to watch this like seven year old lady <laughs> taking apart her omelet, like using the salsa to like paint the fucking table. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What a bitch. At the uh, at the casino, we had this lady that would come in and she would order a steak Philly every time. And she would say, I want a steak Philly with six green peppers, six red peppers and six onion slices. And when she would order it, cause, and she and her thing was, I like the flavor of the peppers, but I don't like them in my food. So when she ordered them, she would get her thing at the at the counter. She would after you give it to her, instead of moving aside so you could do more orders, she would open the box. She would take out her sandwich. She'd open it and she would count it in front of you. Well, what uh, was this like an old woman? Was this like someone who was autistic? Maybe like what, no, or just or just rude. It was like thirties, forty, just rude fucking people, dude. Just she insane. Knew what she fucking- wanted. Yeah, she did. <laughs> I like the flavor of the peppers, but I don't want them in my food. What does that mean? What could that mean? I had a guy that got that said he got food poisoning off a of chicken fried steak and eggs. And w- if somebody comes up and says they get food poisoning right after eating, it's always bullshit. You can't. Yeah, you, the symptoms don't present that fast. And he t- said he had food poisoning. He's like, okay, sure, whatever. I'll refund you. When I was a supervisor, if I gave you a refund, I'm throwing away your food. I'm never going to refund you for your food and let you eat all of it or take it. Fuck, that's insane, right? Yeah. Well, after I gave the guy a refund, I went to his table to, to clear his plate. And the guy's like, well, hold on. I wonder if I could box that. And I'm like, what the fuck? What do you mean you want to box it? You said I give you food. He's like, well, maybe my kids will like it. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean you want to give it to your fucking kids? You just, and he's like, well, you know, if it makes one person sick, it might not make another person. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What are you talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, take the food. I hope it was the problem. I hope it poisons your sick retard kids, and that they never become burdens on my casino rent. Uh, maybe they're more resilient than I am. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they've got younger <laughs> immune systems. Maybe it's worth the risk. I hate getting uh, food poisoning. There was a time when it seemed like I was getting food poisoning like once every two months or something like that. I was traveling a lot and eating in a lot of restaurants, and it just kept happening just over and over. It's the worst thing ever. Food poisoning is an example of what you are talking about earlier, Steve, of like not appreciating what you have <laughs> as far as health until it's gone. Because yep. when you get food poisoning, you will spend all day shitting your brains out. And then you'll get up and come back out and like start doing what you're doing. And then three minutes later, it's like, how could this be possible? How I do I have this first, shit again? The first experience in my life I had of this, like uh, maybe a, not even a year ago, where I got to hang out with, a, with an awesome girl over the weekend. And before I left at the airport, I ate like a cheeseburger. And for the first time in my life, I had food poisoning. 
for a whole day, every 15 minutes, I had to go take a shit. Every 15 minutes. When I got home that stream, I did like the whole day. I was like, listen, okay, I want to give a shout out to all my bros with IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, any Crohn's guys out there. What a whore. And it actually like, this actually really bothers me on a personal level. Um, Like two or three years ago, I used to think I was so smart that I could understand everybody's experience like secondhand. But as I've had more personal experiences, I've realized it's just not true. You have to live something. And I remember I had an old friend in esports. His name is uh, Minigun or whatever. And he has Crohn's disease. And he used to talk about how like he didn't like to go out or he didn't like to go to events because of this and I was always like dude like just deal with it like it's fine like suck it up like you'll be okay like you'll have fun and after that weekend oh my god dude I totally can understand what he means like it's scary it was scary for me to go outside of my hotel room because like I have to have access to a toilet every 10 to 15 minutes or I'm literally gonna fucking shit myself and yeah, it was and the it's, worst it's feeling like in the world. You can hold it like a healthy no. shit with your oh, no. you know, fiber in your diet. It's like, no, this is this is coming it's out happening. in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> you are either in the bathroom or you or are leaking shit. Yeah. Yep. Holy shit, it is so I can't imagine. I like I and I'll give that shout out again. If you live with like IBS or Crohn's, I feel so much sympathy for you. I had it for one day and it broke me. I couldn't believe how horrible my quality of life had become in that one fucking day. Oh my yeah. god. And you never really get like that's why you see those uh, pharmaceutical commercials for Crohn's and it, I it's silly but that's kind of what glued it in my head of how terrible it was because it was like are you afraid to go out and it shows like a woman like ponderously looking at her coffee you yeah. know, like that probably shouldn't be drinking this in the first place. but it's like is it really like, well, this bad yeah well and it's like if you want to be able to live your fucking life take our pill and you'll be able to go four hours without needing to shit your pants yep. And I can't, I gotta be careful hanging out with friends. I can't fuck someone because I'm gonna have to take a break halfway through or accidentally like explode shit out the back while I'm fucking trying to do anything. Like, holy shit. Yeah, no. Oh my God. Every normal interaction, every (laughs) normal interaction becomes like tainted with, with this, like, yeah, with the, with the shit. (laughs) And and her being like disgusted and like being a showstopper wouldn't even be the worst case scenario. What if she was like, oh yeah. (laughs) Well then you'll found a keeper. Right? <laughs> That's oh, a winner. Man. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. You Rub it believe. on my face. Every half hour on the half hour, like clockwork. I got more for you. She's like rubbing it all over herself till she looks like uh Schwarzenegger from Predator. Like, yeah, this is my fetish. Yeah. Uh, oh, this um it's better than that video you showed a few years ago, Kyle, of that guy laying down in the bathtub with goggles on with his mouth open while the woman chat directly into his mouth. Yeah. Chat is generous. Uh thick <laughs> thick shit. Is like, uh, like it looks like a like spackle, like a what paste. What did I return to? <laughs> <laughs> we are sympathizing with our IBS, or irritable bowel syndrome, and Crohn's syndrome brothers by relating our own food poisoning experiences to it. That's what we are doing right now. Yes, it, it was awful. It was awful. Yeah, we 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 played this uh this sort of a drinking game where we all watched a laptop and we took turns finding the most horrible videos <laughs> we could find, and if you flinch or you react at all to the horror that you're witnessing, you have to take a shot. And so I found that video of the woman shitting into the guy's mouth as he laid goggle, goggles on in, in, in a bathtub. It, it was horrific. Have you, this is, oof, we're getting really dark. Um, do we want to stop and do our little, or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I ended on that note. I love that the word That was the best shit I've ever heard. <laughs>